welcome to Seattle Sports Union's Baseball Preview. I'm Matt Page, and joining me is my co-editor for baseball, Ian Loney. It's February, folks, and you know what that means. Pitchers and catchers are reporting soon, and baseball is right around the corner. Stick with us as we cover the Mariners' new organizational direction, along with positional coverage, and finally, we're going to offer some, maybe too early, maybe a little, a little early, yeah. uh, predictions for this coming season. So, Ian, uh, we saw a little upheaval in the front office and management in the field this, this offseason. Uh, Jack Z and his methods appear to be out the door for good. Uh, what do you think of the new direction? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it was good riddance to Jack Z. I mean, he, uh, he, had, I mean, he had pivoted to this uh, all long ball, uh, no on base, no defense, forget it all, we'll just sit around and wait for the 300 <laughs> home run. But, of course, with nobody on base, it ended up being solo home run, so they just didn't win. Um, Jerry Depoto is the new GM. He's brought in an entirely different approach. It's all about getting on base. It's all about playing defense. He's turned over half the roster in one offseason. Oh, he's not. That was possible. Yeah. Uh, he's brought in a manager who thinks long, who isn't experienced, but thinks along the same lines as him in, under Scott Cervais. I think it's a bold new direction, and I think it's really promising. Yeah, it's quite impressive that the turnover we have on our roster this year, uh, you know, it's something like 50% of the of the starting nine are, I mean, are already out, not to mention half the rotation. Mm-hmm. Our whole bullpen's have been turned over, which is actually a good thing since it was the worst of the baseball pretty much last, last year. year. Yeah. <laughs> what was a position of strength became a, a, a very sore point. But uh, it was actually pretty amazing. So, uh, you know, let, let's, let's just dive right in and we'll go around the diamond. Uh, we'll just start right in catcher, of course, first of all. So mm-hmm. we've, got, uh, we've got Chris Ionetta and Steve Clevenger, who are a new battery. Well, this is a this is kind of a hold it over. They're still hopeful that Mike Zanino is going to figure it out. They are, the plan is to send him to Tacoma mm-hmm. up for the season, oh, yeah. let him figure out what's been going on with his bat. Um, they they think he's only what twenty four still, so yeah. there's still time for him to figure it all out. Absolutely, plenty but, of time. But he needs to not be under that major league pressure of trying to catch the game every day and all those kinds of pressures mm-hmm. that he's been under while he figures out what what's wrong with his swing and how to how to not change balls out of the zone and all the things that he's been doing wrong. Uh, Ionetta is a journeyman, good veteran. I glove think, first. Glove first yeah. uh, catcher, um, but he calls a good game. He hits well enough, and, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and he just holds down the fort yeah. while, while Zanino tries to figure it all out. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Steve Clevenger is a little bit more uh, hitter-oriented, but he can still uh, anchor anchor the anchor the uh, the catcher position pretty mm-hmm. well. One thing you, about more about uh, Mike Zanino was that uh, you mentioned uh, he was something like a what was it a plus four WAR or plus yeah. five WAR just from his defense yeah, alone, mostly. pitch framing, yes, and and so forth. So he's already a world class defender. We just need him to be able to hit, you know, 240, 250 yeah, he at have least. To be a great hitter. He just has to be an okay. Hitter. You know, we're not looking for Mike yeah. Piazza. We're, you know, if he can, if he can just, you know, carry an at bat, we're 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 good. And the know. signs are there. The guy has a ton of power. I mean, when he when he does get one, he hits it a long way, and he just needs to figure out when to swing and when not to. Mostly. <laughs> well, and and some of the refocus yeah. uh, with the develop, player development staff this off season, they mm-hmm. they brought in a, a lot of new folks who are going to hopefully try and recorrect uh, him back to contact mm-hmm. first, and and try and and bring his average back up. Uh, so you know that, that that is all looking good. We're looking like an improvement there. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving on to first base, we've got Adam Lind from yes. Milwaukee. Well, the Mariners went into this offseason with a gaping hole at first base. They had Jesus Montero, and that was basically it. Um, now uh, they brought in Adam Lind, good left-handed power hitter from Toronto. Uh, good enough defense. I mean, it's first base, so it's not yeah. like the first priority there. Um, but I mean, he he's a solid two hitter. He hits the crap out of right. He's big platoon oh, yeah. splits, but he hits the crap out of right-handed pitching um, and he's, uh, he'll probably be semi-platoon because of those platoon spits. He'll probably be some semi-platoon with mm-hmm. Jesus Montero who's probably going to be on the team still. Uh, we'll start against particularly the tough lefties in particular. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, I think all in all it's a good setup for him. Do so you think it's an improvement over uh, Logan Morrison? Oh, absolutely. Sure? It's not even a comparison. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving on to second base there. We've got Robinson Cano back again of course mm-hmm. on your, what, three of Ten. Yes. <laughs> Do you think he's going to bounce back? Well, it, it something came out during the off season. Uh, he he had. It turned out he was battling through a sports hernia half the season last mm-hmm. year. Uh, he had surgery on it over the off season. Uh, he it was affecting his defense. It was certainly affecting his bat early in the season. Uh, he he obviously tore it up in the second half. Yeah. Um, there's no reason to think he won't continue 
continue to do so, especially now that he's fully healthy. Uh, I expect big things out of Cano this year. And obviously, with the improved lineup that we're going in, we're going down right now, mm -hmm. uh, he'll have better protection in the lineup. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, another year's experience from Kyle Seeger and mm -hmm. you know Nelson Cruz there again, and you know some other players we're going to get to. Yeah, I think I think I think you're right. I think he'll bounce back. I think he'll have put in a full season like he did last the second half last season. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess the next one, of course, is shortstop. Uh, Cattell Marte took it over, stepped in last team last year, and he and he really he impressed me a lot. I yeah. I, I wrote heavily on, on how impressed I was for him on our for our site, mm -hmm. and uh, but there's still Chris Taylor out there. Yes. I mean, well. Chris Taylor's good, but I personally think Cattell Marte was a Rookie of the Year candidate, in my opinion, last mm -hmm. year. He was he was he was terrific and shows signs of being a really good, probably leadoff guy down the line. Um, I think Taylor is is very good, but I, and he's going to play a lot this year. But I think he's going to be in the utility infield role, honestly, this year. Okay. Um, he's going to be subbing for everyone. He'll yeah, he'll he'll be keeping everyone rested. He'll play. I imagine he'll still play four out of six days each week. So all right. I, so we're penciling Marte in for yeah. for short, and yeah, he did. He he really impressed. And if he shows up with that same dedication, mm -hmm. and and you know just intensity that he mm -hmm. had played with last year it was fun to watch uh he adds a whole other dimension and it's you know it's great to see him play out there uh so we'll move on of course mr automatic there at third base kyle seager uh he just he seems to get better every year i don't know how he does it <laughs> i the guy I remember he played with ackley back in north carolina oh, yeah. and he was the the guy that oh well, there's this guy too when they yeah. drafted Ackley second overall <laughs> And now look who's the star, but <laughs> uh, yeah. Kyle Seager, yeah, he's just Mr. Dependable over there. I mean, you, you know, yeah. you'll get 280, you'll get, you know, maybe 25 dingers. 25 dingers, close solid to RBIs, gold glove yeah. defense. Yeah. You know, you really can't complain at, at the, at the uh, hot corner. Yeah. <laughs>